What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. Okay, so today we're going to answer another question from, from uh, Roman Roman. Roman Roman asked this question in the comment section and somebody, one of the guys in the community answered. So I'm gonna use his answer because I liked it so much. I'm gonna give him credit, of course. Would you recommend doing judo three days a week and BGJ the other three days a week or should I invest in learning a striking martial art and judo? Uh, recreation two times or competitive judo uh, three times per week? So this answer here is actually from Jacob Saelo and I agree 100% with it. That's why I'm making this video and that's what's cool because a lot of the guys in the community have very good knowledge too. Jacob says, well, depends on your goal. Do you want to be a really good grappler and lack skills in striking? Then choose judo or BJJ. Do you want to be more all-rounded martial art and be relatively less good in grappling? Then go for judo and a striking art. I will say skill is a relative thing, but you can get good at both grappling and striking by devoting two sessions a week to each skill. If you were to devote two sessions a week to striking and two sessions a week to judo over two, three years, I would say you would have the chance of beating 99% of the people your size or smaller on the street. That was a great, great answer, Jacob. Thank you very much, Roman, for that question. And I hope that answer actually helped, but I wanted to make a video and use this answer to answer the question because I think it's great. So if you wanna be a good grappler, do more grappling. If you want to be a, um, a well-rounded um, martial artist, that's your objective, then definitely you need to do a little bit less of grappling and incorporate striking into it. And of course that ratio right there, half-half, it's pretty good two times grappling a week plus two times striking a week. It depends on the individual. Some people just learn uh, faster than others, right? They, because of um, just the way they're set up, they're hardwired. Some people, and, and it, this is a real thing, guys. Some people are hardwired in a way where like if they look at a movement, they can pretty much duplicate it uh, relatively quickly. You know, they don't have to mull it over. They don't have to practice too much. They don't have to do it in slow motion. Uh, for X amount of time, they just get it, right? So guys who, uh, the freak athletes, like they have, uh, there's like five neurotransmitters in total, right? And depending and depending on, on your genetics, it's going to vary. And the ones who have uh, very hot, that are the highest in acetylcholine, it's the type uh, 1B. 1B is essentially the freak athlete. So some, some guys will pick up stuff really quickly. You know, like uh, what Jacob said, two, three years, I think that's a standard time, but some guys will pick it up like in a year if they, if they practice uh, you know, uh, two, two like that, two times striking, two times grappling, they just get good really fast. Like it's relative, but people will, you know, progress at different levels, even with the same type of training. The goal is self-defense, well-rounded martial arts. Yes, you do need striking. And uh, I myself am mostly a grappler, I'm a martial artist first, highly focused, emphasized on uh, uh, grappling. But now that, um, that I'm able to, that I have a little bit more leeway, when I was training, before we got locked down, right, I, was, I started going back into striking again. And, and it's something that I've touched on when I was younger. I did quite a bit of striking, Taekwondo and, and, and Kung Fu and stuff like that. I know Kung Fu is not considered a sport, you know, so to speak, like a contact sport. Anyways, all that to say that uh, if you want to be a well-rounded martial artist, do everything. Um, if you just want to grapple. But I think even if you, um, even if you main thing is grappling, like I think it's important as a man to uh, know how to defend yourself and a big part of that is understanding and being at least functional have fundamental functional uh, Level of skill when it comes to striking. So hope that made sense. All right. See you guys in the next one. Peace So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like comment subscribe and click on the notification bell Also, there's a link down below if you guys click on it It's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms and you can also apply for uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.